it's Sarah Taylor. Welcome to my studio. And today I'm going to be talking to you about this painting behind me. So this is a kind of a large commission painting. Um, and it's for this wonderful woman. And I want to talk a little bit about the inspiration and the commission process that I had with her. It was really inspiring. Um, the space that it's going into was so unique. So it's kind of this big, like rust, red, um, earthy marble fireplace. And it's gonna be up above the fireplace. And there's some sage green in the room. It's not actually going on a sage green wall, but there is some um, sage green inspiration. And that's kind of where I brought in this kind of Iridian um, green. And then there's some copper and a lot of these red kind of rust tones and then this kind of dark um, indigo and the indigo had quite a bit of um, brown in it as well so and I'll show you a few images of um, some of her inspiration the rug um, the there's a, there's kind of this dark brown leather sofa so I really took inspiration from her from her space and uh, I hope you like it. I'm going to show you the colors and I do want to talk to you a little bit about um, the, some things I'm going to be doing. So um, I have a retreat this September, which is actually going, it is sold out, but I would love to do it again next year. So if you're interested in that, let me know and I can kind of get my wheels turning about what that's going to look like. And then Fluid Art Experience, we're getting ready to release our our dates and the location. So stay tuned, more coming on that. And yeah, um, there's my Patreon community, which is wonderful. Lots of links below, great ways to support me and my art and my, and my journey. I hope you enjoy what I'm sharing with you. And I will get you into the studio here, uh, show you my colors and get you on the canvas. All right. Okay, let's talk about these colors. So these are all my base coats. That's this kind of indigo. Uh, there's some Mars black, some burnt umber. Um, and then this is this kind of camel colored leftover base coat. And then here's this big tub of this um, sage green, which took a while to figure this color out. Um, and then that's a lighter version of that same color. So I just added titanium white. And then that's a, my white base coat. So up. Oh, I'll uh, recall some of the paints I used to mix that sage green and I'll put it in the notes below. Um, and then these are my puddle paints. That's Quinacridone Nicolazo Gold. That's a color called Grass by, it's a primary element by Color Art. It's Pineapple Crush, another primary element Color Art pigment. Those bleed and blend and they cause some really pretty effects in a painting. <clears throat> That's a little bit of black. And then a nice burnt umber. I always mix a little Mars black into my burnt umber. And then this is just, just kind of cadmium yellow, um, burnt umber mixture, mustardy yellow. That's a, that's a nice uh, permanent violet. And then this is red oxide and I mixed some permanent violet. So I took permanent violet and red oxide and I kind of mixed back and forth between them. And then that's my white mixture that I always use. Um, and then this is a cloud over and that is um, red oxide. So I'm using quite a bit of red oxide by Golden in this painting, uh, which I love. And red oxide is going to probably be more widely used with the discontinuation of quinacridone nicolazo gold. I think it's four parts transparent red oxide to one part yellow iron. Oh, goodness. Yell I think it's just a transparent yellow oxide and it basically makes quinacridone nicolazo gold and, go and golden actually released that information recently so uh going on to this huge canvas um this is a 48 by 60 inch canvas and i'm just putting these base coat colors down and when i do a large canvas I like, like this i like to put the cardboard on the corners like this and you're gonna see why i mean it's so hard to tilt um See how it catches it and really gets the paint to the corner for you so you don't have to dump as much paint off? It can be very helpful in, 
in getting coverage and it gives you a little bit more control over composition. I find that you kind of end up with some more unique types of composition with the base coat when you when you use corners like this. So yeah, just a thought. Uh, you could do it on any size canvas, really. Um, and then I usually pull the fourth corner off and let it just really let the paint fall off that last corner. And, you know, I've done this, I've done this method so many times and I just, I love it. It's, um, you know, it's this concept of running two different layers of paint against each other, one on top of the other. And, you know, the color combinations, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can make a base coat for a pearl technique in any color. And that was something I had discovered uh, back when I was working with Dwight Myers. Um, I would picked up a can of that untinted satin enamel and realized that, oh, my goodness, you could do this. This does not have to just be white. So <laughs> what a day that was. Um, I also want to just give... A nod, an, um, a huge shout out to Melissa Dion Murphy. She just announced that she's not really going to be continuing doing YouTube videos. Um, but I just want to say how much her work and her as a person, just as a human being, how much she um, inspired my work and kind of just lit this flame. Um, and I loved Fluid Art for couple of years before I really dug into what she was doing and then we really befriended and she kind of mentored me and helped me along the way um and it's kind of the end of an era although you know she's not done creating art I know that to be true she's gonna always be a creative so uh, much love Mel um and I hope you guys love this painting as much as I do it was such a unique result very earthy it reminded me of a lot of people were talking about this gemstone um that's kind of green and brown um and uh i haven't titled this painting quite yet but it's coming so anyways much love um a lot i had a lot to say today but i just i'm so grateful you're here and i hope you have a really really beautiful day and stay tuned to the end there's going to be dried results and Please do subscribe, um, comment, follow me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram. This is kind of how I push my art business forward is through social media. So I really appreciate you being here and uh, take great care. All right. Bye.
Thank you.